On October 8, 1998, Matthew Shepard, six days before his 22nd birthday, met Aaron McKinney and Russell Henderson at a bar in Laramie, Wyoming. Shepard had grown up in Wyoming, Saudi Arabia, and Switzerland, moving around a lot due to his parents' various jobs. And he was now attending college in Laramie. An out gay man who often reached out to others to offer support, Shepard struggled with depression and anxiety and drug use, related primarily to a sexual assault he had suffered years before while in Morocco and the subsequent PTSD afterwards. Shepard was also HIV positive at the time of his death. McKinney and Henderson planned to rob Shepard after finding out that he was gay. They offered to drive him home, but instead drove him to a remote field where they brutally assaulted and tortured him, then hung his body on a fence, leaving him to die. Shepard was found the next day and rushed to the hospital in a coma, where he soon died as a result of his injuries. McKinney and Henderson were put on trial for murder, and the media had a frenzy over the case, bringing brutal hate crimes to national attention again, thousands of which had been committed over the years prior to this. The two men tried using the gay panic defense during their trial, but ended up receiving life sentences in prison, avoiding the death penalty in part because Matthew's family did not want that. Many theories over the murder have been shared, including allegations that Shepard and McKinney were occasional sexual partners, and that Matthew was a known drug dealer of methamphetamines in the area. At the time of Shepard's murder, the United States did recognize hate crimes but did not recognize attacks toward LGBT people as hate crimes. Shepard became the poster child for hate crimes legislation against LGBT people. Multiple attempts were made in state and national government levels, but failed time after time for several years, one time even being personally shot down by President George W. Bush. But eventually, President Obama helped push through the initiative over 10 years after Shepard's murder finally putting in national legislation that recognizes LGBT people in hate crimes protections. Despite this initiative, many states still have no protections in place for individuals who are attacked because of their sexual orientation or gender identity.